Hey guys, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a book haul for you. I acquired a couple different books in the last couple months. I did have my birthday in August, so I'm going to show you all the books that I bought for my birthday. No, I bought for my birthday, but I received for my birthday. But before we get into that, I want to talk about one book that I won as part of a giveaway, and that is Kindred, which is an anthology of 12 queer Love Osway stories. And I just want to thank you, Shay's Pages, for hosting that, and I'm so happy that I won. This anthology does feature one of my favourite authors, Jen Wilde, so I'm excited to read that one. I just love how pretty and yellow this is, and I'm just really excited to pick this book up. The next book I bought was Final Girls by Rayleigh Sager. I got this on the, I think it was the Love Osway buy, swap, sell page on Facebook. I crabbed it for like four bucks. I thought that was a bargain. So this book is about the final girls. So anyone who has survived a like huge massacre, they are the final one. And so the main character, Lisa, becomes part of the club called the final girls. No, sorry, main character is called Quincy. But she becomes part of the final girls who's, you got like Lisa and Sam and all that. One day they find Lisa dead and so Sam and Quincy have to try and find out who is killing the rest of these final girls. And in this book I received in a fairy loot box by my wonderful friend Abby. So I'll go link that video and Abby's channel down below. But I grabbed The Beholder by Anna Bright. I think this book looks so beautiful and you've got like gorgeous rose sprayed edges. The Beholder focuses on this one princess. She's been betrothed, but when the proposal gets rejected publicly, um, the stepmother queen is like, you have to go and find someone to marry. Um, but I feel like this book is going to be action-packed and you've got a ship on it. So I feel like it's going to be a bit priority too. And I'm just really excited to read this book. All right, now we're getting into my birthday book. So the first book I received from my wonderful husband, Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I'm so glad I finally have a copy of this book. It is going to be my favorite book of 2019. I don't think anything is going to top it but it was just so good. I love it, and I'm so thankful that I have this. So this is a hate-to-love male-male romance focusing on the son of the first female president and the Prince of England, and I love this story so much, and I really think that you should read it. Next two books I got for my birthday is The Six of Crows Duology by Lee Bardugo. I finished reading the... Grisha trilogy earlier this year and so I thought I should hurry up and pick up the duology so I can get along with the series and find out what the big hype is about. I specifically wanted the smaller books so that they match the same height as my Grisha trilogy but they don't. It's okay. Everything's okay but I'm really glad that I've got the small thick books because I really don't like big books. Like I like long books but I don't like tall books. Next I got for my birthday is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I've heard lots of good things about this book, but I also heard lots of good things about Dark Shade of Magic and I wasn't a big fan. So hopefully Vicious is different. But this focuses on like the anti-hero. So you got Victor and Eli. They think that they have found out how to become a superhero. I think Victor becomes the super villain instead. I don't know much about this book, but I'm really excited to pick it up. Next book I received was Grey Sister by Mark Lawrence. This is a sequel to Red Sister, which I read back in April for my owls. I loved Red Sister and I just know I needed to read the next book to find out what's happening to my baby girl, Nona. And then I also got We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. I'm so sorry if I butchered that name. I saw this book everywhere when it first got published and I'm like I need I need this book and I have no idea what it's about though I just thought it was really pretty the blurb is is people lived because she killed people died because he lived that just sounds like you just need to read this I'm so excited to read this book and I cannot wait to pick it up so that was all the books that I got for my birthday and I have one more book to show you I picked up through the dark which is a Darkest Minds novella collection. It was $2.50 at Kmart, so you know I had to pick it up. I have not even finished The Darkest Minds, but 2 dollars 
So I'm not going to read the back of this because I probably will get spoiled, but I just needed to show you this as well. So they were all the books that I received in July and August. I just want to think, oh no, it's not. There's two other books that I totally forgot about because they went with my pile. But the lovely Abby sent me A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. I so excited to read this book. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I just, I can't believe that I forgot about it. I love, I love that spine. It's like holographic and I'm just, I'm really excited to read it because Abby loved it and I know I will love it. And last but not least, my sister gave me Restore Me by Tahara Murphy. This is the fourth book in the Shatter Me series. I am reading them right now with Abby and I'm really excited to pick this one up. This cover is gorgeous. I love it a lot. All right, now that was all the books that I received in July and August. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to be my friend, you can add me on Goodreads, Instagram, and Twitter. They're all at Sash Reads. And I will see you next time. Bye.